And the problem I got with your employees are, one, you got an employee named Giovanna. You have an employee named Anthony. And you have an idiot named Brian who's under you. Well, those three people need to have a new job called unemployed. Because they are they are doing this together, Grace. So I'm are you um you're James? Yeah, I'm James. And my son who you and my son who Giovanna called me the other day and told me that oh, G Swingham picked up the package. When he was currently in Copenhagen, Copenhagen, uh, Denmark, currently now he's in Holland and was in Germany. I told her on the phone, there's no way he picked up. Oh, we checked his ID. And since these calls are recorded by FedEx, you should check the call that came at 7 from this same number at 7 7 p.m. Friday night. And then she told me, oh, you don't have to come here and pick it up. He came and picked it up 30 minutes ago. He's gone. We checked his ID. G. Swingham left. And I told her that's impossible. He's in Germany, or he's in Europe. I'm coming to get the package. What's your name? Click. She hung up on me. So I called back. No, no, no. I'm just got more to say. And then I came into your office after it was scanned Saturday morning at 8 or something in the morning. I received two tracking updates from... FedEx, one at five in the morning on Saturday and Sunday saying, reply yes for FedEx updates. I did on both days. No response back on FedEx other than yes. When I did yes, nothing. Sunday morning I called back in and told them, hey, it was scanned Saturday. You guys were open. Why didn't you guys call me to come and get it? No no response from your customer service because they couldn't explain why they didn't do that or why your office, Giovanna or whoever the tracer is, didn't. Did not uh, call me. So Monday morning, I go in and I see Anthony. He's there. I give him a tracking number. Kind of give him a situation of what's going on. He says, uh, let me look into this. After about five minutes, I said, do you need the tracking number again? No, no, I got it. He disappears for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, there's a line, like 10 more people get in line behind me looking. Are you being helped? No. They're looking for something. He came back to me and says, it's out for delivery on the truck. You have to go pick it up. And I said, Where's it, where's, you know, what, what do you mean it's on the truck? It shows here Saturday morning. It's on the truck and you have to sign for it. So you got to go pick it up, go back to, your, back to your address and wait. And he had 10 people he, he had to take care of. Out, and I wasn't going to put up with the garbage. So I left, came back to my office, waited. After having Friday at 12.54, your first driver supposedly came by and said business was closed, but we were open from 5 a.m. until 8 p.m. on Friday. Then I see when I called, I got a 4.30 update, something about delivered, and I marked it lost. That's when Giovanna called me back. So Anthony tells me, oh, it's out. So I went back yesterday. My wife had an appointment in the area, so we dropped by to see Anthony again. And I asked him, I told him, flat out, you lied to me. It wasn't out for delivery. It's still on FedEx. Well, my coworker told me to tell you that. I said, oh, yeah? Who's your coworker? I can't tell you. But I know you went around the corner and talked, like, when you stand at the front desk, you look through that doorway, there's a desk sitting there. That's who he spoke to at that desk. So yesterday, finally, I, I refused to leave, so he calls the manager. That's when Brian showed up. I said, where's Grace? Oh, Brian's the person right now. You have to talk to him. So I told Ant- I told him, call Brian. Anthony lied to me yesterday. He told me he's out for delivery. There's no delivery scan. So how, so how, does, how does it show he's out for delivery? So Brian asked him, why did you tell him he's out for delivery? I couldn't see a scan, so I just told him he's out for delivery. In other words, so I would leave. Then I asked Brian, or Anthony, who told you? My coworker. Who? Who's your coworker? I can't tell you. I said, well, tell Brian. Go over and tell Brian. He's your manager. You can go tell him, can't you? No. I asked Brian. I said, you can't go and ask him who his coworker is who told me that it was out for delivery and to leave? No, I can't do that. Is it union rules or something? 
But you got a bunch of liars working for you. And thieves. I think they're all in it together. Maybe you're in it too. But you guys took the wrong package from the wrong person. So where in the hell is the package at? You probably pulled the one for me too. Yeah, I don't know if Ryan um, indicated, so the process for you to do is, you said it was not your son who picked up the package? Yeah, my son's um, in Europe. Follow, okay, so just, we need you to follow a police report. No, 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 he, he already did that. He did, he okay. filed the police report. Now, okay. I asked Anthony and Brian, did you know, and I thought, Giovanna, you guys check your ID. Oh, G. Swangum. What's his first name? G. Swangum. You guys don't go by. No. Uh, does ID say more than G Swangin? Does I no? If that's the case, someone is impersonating my son with an ID, with a fake ID. And that's that's probably, that that is definitely going on. I mean, if your son is not the person that came in to pick up the package, Jason, then somebody else is going to be doing that. And you know, I don't know if you know this, but Jason Rodriguez is actually working for the FBI. Oh, he is. You guys have a copy of that ID. We don't take copies of the ID, but we, we will verify the ID of the person, and we will verify the name. Well, I need so to see that video. I need to see the video who the person was. Okay. So I can show you, I mean, I can show you a picture of the guy that picked it up, but for you to obtain a copy of the video or the person, I mean, or the, the copy or a picture of the person that picked it up, the police will have to report that to my security department. Oh, your security so department. So I'm going to see a FedEx person picking up the package, right? Well, I can tell he's not my employee at this location. So, I mean, I... I what do you mean he's not, what do you mean he's not your employee at this location? Someone from FedEx? That, up the that person that picked up the package is a random customer that came into the front counter, provides his tracking number, and provided an ID that matches that information that he provided to us. Okay. So I can tell you that. Actually, I, I'm sorry, but I don't believe that. Because they no, because you got no, you got another story, Grace. Anthony told me. No, I'm telling you, your yours and Anthony's story is different. Anthony told me it was delivered to the wrong person, delivered to the wrong person, and the wrong person brought it back to FedEx and said this isn't mine. That's what Anthony told me. I mean, I would definitely so why, follow up with Anthony to get his information. What did he get his information? That will be my job to do. Oh, that will be your job. I will, go ahead, I will go ahead and follow up with Anthony about following and reading the proper scans on the package. We did have the wrong scans due to a system that we did an error. It was our mistake to scan an old label that we had the package previously scanned into. So that was our mistake. That's why the package shows that it was here after it was picked up. That was our error, and I already follow up on my What do you mean, your? What do you mean your error? What do you mean? What do you mean by your error that you scanned it after it was picked up? You didn't know how much. What? I mean, I can explain to you if you want to come in person. It would be just too long to explain to you, and I'm probably irritating myself because you won't even be like so clear for you to understand my process. So all I can tell you is that we show that a person. Oh, you got it. So you got it. Provided a police report, then the police can go ahead and ask for the video from FedEx, and then your son can go ahead and contact the shipper and let. My son is in damn Europe right now. He doesn't have time to sit and call you guys and this other bullshit. Okay, well then maybe you can call the shipper and let them know that you're calling on behalf of your son. Well, the shipper, the shipper, the shipper is doing the same thing. They're investigating you guys. And how long does that take? When Five or six months? Shipper, as soon as the, ship, as soon as the shippers open the claim and the shipper provides the information they need from FedEx and then they'll take a process in place. I'm not with the claims department, so I can't tell you how long it will take the shipper to file a claim. 
You know, Grace, it's just, just, uh, it's just bullshit that you guys are doing this. They said they got an ID at Gary's ID, or get an ID number, they the ID number of whoever picked it up. Wow. So right. we, so what you say, I got to go to Hunter and PD. Much, the, do you, my, yeah, Grace, do you know how much this shipment's worth? It's not sneakers. It's not a pair of shoes. It's gold bullion. $7,000. $6,000. So your, cus, your, your employee is rich right now. Whoever scanned it Saturday morning, your employee, you know who it is. When you scanned it back in Saturday morning at 8.03 a.m.? Because I know your scanners, I know your what your situation is. you got to put in your employee number to activate the scanner to scan the product, scan the package. So you already talked to the Saturday morning person who scanned it at 8.03 a.m., right? So, Jeff, so they said I, I that somebody picked it up. I can understand your upset and the irritation that comes from, but I mean, I cannot stay here and then just listen to all your assumptions because I'm not going to agree to any of your assumptions. Yeah, because you're probably involved in it, bitch. Processes. 